The name of the story is How Jesus Came. Lay down and cover yourself. I had already done it. Here we go. How Jesus Came. Father God, thank you so much for all this day, for every second of life that you give us, Lord. Thank you. Speak to us through this word and let us use it and apply it to our lives, Lord. In Jesus, Yeshua's name, amen. How Jesus came. Now there lived in the city of Nazareth a fine young man by the name of Joseph. Joseph came to know and love a very sweet girl who loved the Lord, God. Her name was Mary. They became engaged to be married. Then something happened which greatly distressed Joseph. But they were married. He found out before they were married, he found out, perhaps Mary told him, that she was going to have a baby. How could this be? Surely his dear Mary had not been unfaithful to him and gone with some other man. Joseph did not know what to do. Should he not now get Mary to Mary if she had been some other man? If she had been with some other man? He could, he could not sleep that night for thinking about it. He was hurt in his heart. When at last he did get to sleep, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, who, you, you who come from the royal family of King David, do not be afraid to take Mary to be your wife. The baby that is coming is not coming because Mary has been with any other man. The baby is coming because of the working of God, the Holy Spirit in her body. The baby is going to be a boy, and you will call his name Jesus, for he is going to save his people from their sins. This was tremendous news. God himself was the father of Mary's baby. How wonderful! When he woke, Joseph hurried to see Mary and tell her about the words of the angel. Can you quit? You're supposed to be laying down and listening with your eyes closed. Every time you interrupt, you, you make us lose track. Stop. Focus. Lay down. Close your eyes, my children. Listen. Don't be distracted. Here we go. The baby is going to be a boy. And you will call his name Jesus, for he is going to save his people from their sins. This was tremendous news. God himself was the father of Mary's baby. How wonderful! When he awoke, Joseph hurried to see Mary and tell her about the words of the angel. Then they were married. Mary's baby inside her body grew larger every day until it was almost time for him to be born. It was then that Augustus Caesar, the emperor in Rome, made a decree which said that everyone in all the countries over which he ruled must be registered so that they could be taxed. Mary and Joseph had to make the long journey to Bethlehem to be registered there. Now Bethlehem, called David's city, was nearly 70 miles away over rough, hilly roads, and it would take them several days, several days traveling to reach their little town. You can imagine that poor Mary was anxious about the kind of journey when she was expecting her precious baby to be born. But they had to go. Joseph tried to make it easy as he could for his young wife.
At last, they arrived, tired and dusty, only to find that the town was full up with people who had come to register their names also. What were they to do? Where could they stay? Where could Joseph find a bed or a room for his dear wife to rest? Their baby was about to be born. At last, Mary found a stable where animals were kept, and, and there that very night Jesus was born. They had no clean bed for themselves, nor pretty cot for the baby Jesus. Joseph did his best to make a bed for the baby in a manger. This was a kind of box from which the animals fed. Jesus was war wrapped up warmly in pieces of cloth, and this is how the Savior of the world was born. The Son of God had arrived, and no one knew except Mary and Joseph. But wait, there were others who knew. And they were even now coming to look for and find the one born to be king. In the fields outside Bethlehem were shepherds looking after their flocks through the night. Without warning, a strange light appeared, and a glory began to shine all around them. The shepherds were frightened. Then the voice of an angel announced, Do not be afraid. I bring you good tidings of great joy, which is for all people. For to you this very day has been born in David's city a Savior. He is Christ the Lord. You will find him wrapped in swaddling bands lying in a manger. When the angel said this, suddenly a great number of other angels appeared, all praising God and saying, Glory to God in the high heaven, and peace on earth, good will from God to men. After a while they went away again into heaven. All was quiet after. The shepherds began to talk to one another. What are we waiting for, they said. Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing which has happened about which the Lord has told us. So they hurried off to the town and discovered Mary and Joseph and the baby. He was wrapped in swaddling bands and was lying in a manger just as they had been told. Mary and Joseph were surprised that the shepherd men should come to see and th to come see their new baby. The shepherds told everyone they met about the angels and what they had said about this baby. All who heard it wondered what it could mean. But Mary specially kept these wonderful things in her heart. The shepherds went back to their flocks, praising God and glorifying Him. Joseph and Mary stayed in Bethlehem for a while. They were not many miles from the temple in Jerusalem. <clears throat> Last page, kiddos. As soon as they were able to, they took their baby to the temple of the offer to offer a sacrifice and to present him to the Lord God. He was named Jesus, which means Savior. This is what the angel had told Joseph because Jesus was to be the one who would save his people from their sins. While they were in the temple, two things happened. First, a man called Simon came in. Simon was a devout man of God. He lived in the presence of God. And he knew by the Holy Spirit of God that he would not die before he had seen the one who the Lord had promised to send to his people. He came into the temple just as the time when Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus were there. When Simon, Simeon, saw them, he knew that this baby was the one he had been waiting to see. He took him in his arms and blessed and praised God. Lord God, my eyes have now seen your salvation, 
which is for all the people of the world. I am glad, for now I can die in peace. For you have done that which you promised to your people. Mary and Joseph stood there amazed at what Simeon was saying about their little baby Jesus. But then Simeon had something else to say. Listen, Mary, for some, this child shall be their downfall, but many shall be blessed and lifted up by him. He will show people what is in their hearts, and they will be against him. Your own heart will also be sad. At that moment, a very old lady came in, and she too saw the baby Jesus. She loved God and was always in the temple, going without her food and spending her time in prayer. She was a prophetess, and her name was Anna. When she saw Jesus, she also thanked God and praised the Lord. Then she told all the people who had been expecting the Savior to come that this was the one for whom they waited. Mary and Joseph did not know what to think about all these happenings. As they returned to the place where they were staying with the baby God had given them. The end. Alright my babies. It's done.